In the energy quadrant, taking a look at the August WTI crude oil futures, which are up five of the last six sessions, six consecutive sessions versus the day's own open. So you could look at it that way on your chart and see six green candles if you do green for up days, red for down days. And it also reached its highest closing price in seven weeks, up above 81.40. The high today was 81.51, which is the highest absolute level for crude oil since May 1st, the first time above $81 since May 1st, the first session where crude closed above 80, or I should say traded above $80 for the entire session since April 30th, as well as being up 1% from yesterday's close of $80.85. So low today was $80.30, which was down 0.68% or about two thirds of a percent from yesterday's close. The demand outlook is looking good. According to the EIA, refinery utilization came out today, as opposed to yesterday because of the holiday, at 93.5%, which was lower than last week, which was around 95. However, it was the above 90% for the fifth straight week after 16 straight weeks below 90%. This indicates that crude oil demand on the ground is higher than it was a month ago. Over the past four weeks, crude oil imports into the U.S. averaged 7.3 million barrels a day, which is 11.6% more than the same four-week period last year. So the demand outlook is, let's call it mildly strong. And then the supply outlook, you look at both crude and gasoline, are below the five-year average supply levels for this time of year, also according to the EIA. U.S. crude oil inventories fell by 2.5 million barrels to 457.1 million barrels, which is 4% below the five-year average for this time of year. Inventories of gasoline fell by 2.3 million barrels from last week, which puts them 1% below the five-year average for this time of year as well.